Today we're going to talk about 10 things that you need to learn if you're a musician or remember, and these are things that you do not want to learn the hard way. I need to thank my friend Leah for giving me the idea to do this video, even though she probably doesn't even know she gave me the idea. Number 10, most important thing not to learn the hard way is that when you go to play in a gig, no matter what the gig is, be sure that you arrive extra early, be sure that you are over prepared and be sure that you're enthusiastic about doing the gig. You don't want people to feel like your sense is that the gig is beneath you or that you're a little apathetic about being there because there are plenty of people who want to play gigs and are capable of doing it. Number nine for me is don't take an audition if you're not ready for it. I will say I learned this the hard way. When I was living in New York, it was so easy to take auditions that I would sign up for everything there was. But the thing is, if you're not well prepared for each and every audition that you take, you start to train yourself to think that you're not as good at taking auditions. If you go take an audition and you're extra prepared and you do your very best, it reinforces within your own mind that you are good at taking auditions. If you see there's an audition coming up and you think, oh, I should just go do it, and you're not really ready, then you don't play your best. And even though you tell yourself, well, I wasn't really prepared, you start to have the impression of, I don't do this as well as I thought. So only take an audition if you're really invested and prepared. Number eight is keep some kind of instrument toolkit with you. When you go and do performances and gigs, if something goes wrong with your instrument, sometimes there's nothing you can do much about it, but sometimes it's an easy fix if you just have the right materials with you. Maybe it's a tiny screwdriver set if you play a wind instrument. Maybe it's strings if you play violin or harp or something like that. Cigarette paper, swab, whatever you might need in the case of a minor emergency with your instrument. Number seven is, know the dress code for every gig. If you do a gig and you show up in the wrong clothing, you might have to go buy some clothing or you might just suffer in silence and people look at you thinking that you look slightly wrong. Know whether it's concert black, pit orchestra black, maybe it's a festival black and white with a red bow tie or something. Just be sure you know what you're supposed to show up wearing. Number six, really truly do always have a pencil with you when you show up for a professional gig. I say it that way because I know that in like fifth grade band, you're told to always have a pencil. And if you don't have one, you think, oh, big deal. But if you go and you play a professional gig and you have to keep asking neighbors for a pencil, it does not look professional and it can get really embarrassing quickly. Number five, don't ever burn bridges with other musicians. Even if you think that the bridge should be burned, even if you think someone did something really stupid, even if you think that you need to tell someone that so-and-so is just a horrible colleague, be really careful how you do it because the music world is surprisingly small. You're going to see people again and again and again, and if there's someone you feel you may never want to work with, you may find yourself playing the same gigs with this person over and over again. Number four, when you're about to perform, especially if it's a solo or chamber music piece, Double check your setup. Is your music all really there? Are the pages in the right order? If you need a piccolo, is it there? <laughs> if you need a place to put your flute while you grab your piccolo and play it, how have you made an arrangement? You don't wanna be in the middle of a performance of something and start to realize that your logistics are not worked out. Number three, leave yourself insane amounts of time to get to a gig especially if you're not familiar with the venue or the road getting to the venue. You never know what might happen. And there have been times I've left for a gig thinking I would get there an hour and a half early and due to traffic or bad weather or some navigation mistake on my part, I get there with not nearly as much time as I thought I would have. Number two, triple check before you leave for any performance that you have everything with you your instrument, a music stand if you need one, a pencil, your parts, anything that if you get to the venue is going to be a deal breaker that you can't play well. You just don't wanna look unprofessional, unprepared. 
Certainly you don't want to get there and realize you were supposed to bring your piccolo and you don't have it with you. Number one, don't, just don't ever leave your instrument in your car. Instrument theft happens all the time. I could name for you right now several close friends of mine who thought they were just leaving their instrument in the car for a moment and they came back and a window was broken and the instrument was gone. I would say if you leave it in your car, put it out of sight in the trunk, but don't even do that because temperature control is important. Don't leave your instrument behind where it can get too hot, too cold. Don't figure I'm gonna go for a hike, nobody's around, I'll just leave this in my front seat. It's surprising how often something can go wrong. Keep your instrument with you. That's my top 10 as far as lessons that we should learn as musicians and remember throughout our careers. Let me know how these things strike you. If you have other ideas, other things that you would rank more important, put them in the comments. Please subscribe, like the video if you think that this list is helpful. I also wanna list three more ideas that I got from other people in the process of putting this together. One thing is that as you're embarking on a career as a musician, learn how to present yourself, market yourself as though you are a business because each individual musician is a business. Even if you have a steady gig, even if you're a full-time professor or a full-time orchestral musician, you're going to be a business. You're going to go out and get your own work and your own gigs. Along with the idea that we don't want to burn bridges with other people, also just try to monitor how you're speaking to other people avoid harming other people's egos because <laughs> egos can be a big thing in our business never say things like would you by any chance be available to play a wedding gig with me this weekend i really really hope you can because i've asked like 20 people and nobody out there is available in addition to just learning how to talk to people in a really smart way like i just mentioned also be sure that you learn how to network with people People are your greatest resource. People are the biggest thing that will push you forward and gain you more opportunities. Learn how to network. Also learn how to put together a great cover letter and resume and represent yourself well. Website, social media, all those things. None of us are perfect. I know I could do much better, but those things really are all resources that will help you. That's it. Good luck. Try to learn things in the least painful way possible.